Hello! Welcome to Triggered Care. I'm Alex. Today I'm going to be sharing a decision-making exercise that I found in an old, old book that uh, I was reading the other day, just out of curiosity. It's called Choices, a Teen Woman's Journal for Self-Awareness and Personal Planning by Mindy Bingham, Judy Edmondson, and Sandy Stryker. And uh, I like list a lot. I like to do list a lot. I like to list out everything. I write out all my videos in a bullet type format. I really like writing stuff down. And so when I saw this, I just, I liked it a lot. And I thought maybe you guys might benefit from it too. Because when it comes to decision making, I can take a long time or not know what to do or just avoid it because I don't even know where to start. So let's get into it. Step one, write out the decision to be made or problem to be solved. So for example, if the problem is uh, which roads will Alex take to town, you know, and then you under that you write out the goal. Alex's goal to get to town for a shopping trip and to enjoy the ride into town. Step two, find and list choices or options. List out all the options or solutions to the problem or decision. And then here you can see a graph and to the far left there's your choices. Taking the scenic route or taking the direct route. And then you list out advantages and disadvantages of each option. So advantages for taking the scenic route would be less traffic and a more beautiful drive. Disadvantages would be it's going to take longer to drive. And then the advantages for taking the direct route is it's going to be a shorter drive, but probably have more traffic. And then step three is find the probable outcomes. So that's just making a summation of the graph that you make about your decision. Taking the scenic route will likely have less traffic, but will take a longer time. And then taking the direct route will likely be a shorter drive with more traffic. And since I enjoy to drive with less traffic and better scenery, way more than I like driving on main roads, you know, I would take the scenic route. But this can be applied to a lot of different things. And this is sort of how, I didn't know that I was doing this, but when I decided to go off of daily medication, this was pretty much the process that I went through. Just comparing the advantages to the disadvantages and figuring out the probable income or outcome. So I really like this little graph thing. I really like it because I like writing out everything. Writing stuff down very much helps me figure it out in my head way better than trying to figure it out in my brain because my brain is super distractible a lot of the times and it can be hard to think straight especially if it's a bigger decision especially you know for the more complicated tasks, I, I think this could be really helpful. So if you're like me and you like making lists and you like making charts and all of that, this might be a handy dandy tool for you. Well, that should do it. This is a pretty short one. I just wanted to share that graph thing that I read in the book. Um, and actually the book that I took this from is a really good book. It was published in 1985. It's an older book, but the authors are pretty good. It's pretty darn good. It's got some good advice in there. It's got financial advice in there. It's got, like, it pretty much has the stuff that you need to plan out your life, which is kind of silly since it's supposed to be for teenage girls and you can't really plan out your whole life 
when you're a teenager, but some really good advice in there. So I hope everyone's having a good week.